World of Final Fantasy. Prologue. Awake at last. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock. Time to wake up. I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. <sighs> the streets sure are quiet today. Hey, I'm here. Huh? How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Huh? Mm. Oh, right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh. And bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. <sighs> Has nobody made the coffee yet? <sighs> Come on. Get it together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure.
acting your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. <sighs> so, what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh, you really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So, Lon, have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello! You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah! Look! Come with me right now! Easy! There's nobody here! So, it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... I... Mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the got it! Huh? What? Hey, hey uh, you hey, can't just uh... leave! The name is Tama, and I'm the here to help out. Does anyone to have any questions? <sighs> Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused. Uh, hey, whoa, <sighs> take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset, Let's too! Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. Uh, but I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Garage keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole the legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you, and those are the seven strongest mirages of all! With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world! Oh. So... 
we could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. And from who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Also, the known as AP. You automatically gain a little bit of AP each the time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do. So make this sure you use them wisely. Right. I think I've seen enough for one to tussle. Well, that ought to do it. The figure it out yet? The two of you were on the surpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, but seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they the lose the mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the mirages too? But I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely unaffected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, 
grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> 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 Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin So, this must be Grimoire. What? Awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down this path? It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. What? Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. Is the call a choco chip? What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. Sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time, the mind you. Okay, first try the weakening the Choco Chick, then the use your prism. Or certain mirages will let down their guard and they give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. was a good fight.
see the Choco Chick running around in the prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't then make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked. But look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully, and choose the best setup for the job. the switch between giant size and lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You aren't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the be in lilikin form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. There's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. find that. That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board.
the Choco Chicks come along for a stroll? Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so... Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like... right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now, what's this? This is the called a Merkrift. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say... Mirages? Oh, man, let's go catch them. But... Uh, this one's not very cute. to the tell you. Inside Murkrifts, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to the tell us. Try a little harder, please. die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage in the Murkrift did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then the whisk you to safety. Although, it the cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! But just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Or the yeah. And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. 
Rest yourself silly. Yes, this sir! Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. Yeah, uh... <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real What'd question is how she got here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Oh. She so must have experience away. crossing between Would planes. So, she's over at North Promenade. She's so tiny. Is she a... Uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocobo Colina! Oh! <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? You can call me Choco Latte. I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right. Care to shop? I've got the goods. Choco Boko Ching. 